morning children hope you all are taking precautionary measures to stay safe against covid such as wash your hands frequently before then use sanitizer wear mask make it sure that the mask covers both your nose and your mouth it should cover both your nose and sound yes nose and your mouth should be covered with that mask so see to that and eat healthy food children and be safe at home children please be safe at home i shela patil welcome into this mathematics online class okay children before starting mathematics let me tell you that you have to purchase the books to write class work and to do the home fun so please write down this see that you purchase square line items you purchase square line items. square line 100 pages two more books 100 pages two more books for mathematics you have to purchase square line 100 pages two more books How many notebooks you have to purchase? Two notebooks. Square line. Square line means it will be of this type. I will show you square line. See. You have to purchase this type of notebook for mathematics. For mathematics. You have to purchase two notebooks. 100 pages, two notebooks. One notebook for class work. That means class work. And one notebook for home fun. That is, you do at home. This home fun. One for classwork and one for homework. Is it? So you purchase two square line notebooks for mathematics. Two square line notebooks, 100 pages it will be for mathematics. What do you know by what do you mean by mathematics? For you, simple, it's counting of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is mathematics for you. It's counting of numbers as mathematics for you. So, kids, let us start today's class. Let us start today's class. It's time to start the class with some concepts, with some basic concepts. We have to start the class. We, go to, we are going to start the class with some basic concepts. We all are, we are going to learn mathematics in this class and we are going to learn some basic concepts such as big and small, long and short, numbers, shapes. Is it? You all know the numbers. You know numbers. Basic concept. We are going to know numbers, shapes, size. Numbers start from one to infinite numbers. There are many numbers, but the starting number is one. And shapes: circle, square, round, rectangle. Cuboid, there are many types of shapes. So, diamond shape. We are going to learn today the basic concept of from mathematics. We are going to learn the basic concept from mathematics. Today, we learn the basic, we will start the class with the basic concept, big and small. We will start the class with big and Big 
and small. V I G B A N D and S M A double and small. The concept today we are going to start is big, small. Yeah, we are going to learn the concept of big and small. I hope you all are familiar with, with these words. You are familiar with big and small. Do you know the difference between big and small? Do you know? The difference between big and small. Okay. Would you like to know the difference between big and small? Would you like to know the difference between big and small? Yes. So let's start it. See. What is this? It's a box. What's it? It's a box. Oh, there is one more box inside. See, there's one more box inside, isn't it? See, one, two, there are two boxes. These are boxes, two boxes, isn't it? One box, two boxes. Can you see some any difference between these two boxes? Can you see the difference between one and two, two boxes? Is there any difference between them? No. They are of different size. They are of different size. The size are different. This is going inside. That means the size is different. So, so we can identify this. So, when we compare the objects, when we compare the objects based on their size, we get big and small. When we compare these two objects, big one, small one, then we get the concept big and small. So what is that? When we compare the objects based on their size, when we compare the objects based on size, based on size, we get We get big and small. When I show you two things, these two boxes, the sizes are different. One is big and one, another one is small. Yes. So what is that? We have compared the size. When we compare the size of the object, we get big and small objects. We get big and small objects. So, what is how we can differentiate big and small by comparing the size, by comparing the size of the objects given, isn't it? When we compare the size of the objects, given objects, we get we come to know big and small. When we compare one small term, when we compare the objects based on the size, based on the size, we get to know which one is big and small. Again, we can identify the concept. We get small. Okay. I will big and small. See, for I will show big small. Big, small. See, small means big. big. See my hands. Small, big. Big, small. This is comparing between the size. Isn't it? Comparing between the size. Big, small. Big, small. Now let me to understand the concept. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw two objects, two pictures here. What are these? What are these? Yeah, these are trees. These are trees. Isn't it? 
you can see the picture and identify which one is you can see the picture and identify which one is big and which one is small which one is big i'll write one two the first picture is big isn't it the second picture is small isn't it yes first one is big the first tree is big and the second tree is small okay i'll draw one more picture here one more picture okay i'll draw a flower see there are two flowers a flower b flower you can see a flower and b flower try to identify which one which of the flower is big a flower is big or b flower is big a flower is big or b flower is big identify children yes a flower is big and b is small a flower is big and b is small it is big b is small so a flower is big and b flower is small to identify or to know, understand this concept correctly i'll show some things to you see children what are these all of you are familiar with this yes these are balls what are these these are balls see now in my right hand one ball is there and in my left hand another ball is there one ball is yellow and ball is pink okay which ball is big which ball is big one right hand side or left hand side yeah the right hand ball is big that means the ball big yellow color is big and the ball pink color is small isn't it big small this one is big and this one is small the ball in my right hand is big and the ball in my left hand is small understand big ball small ball what are these balls so big ball is yellow in color this is big one and big ball is small ball okay i will show you some fruits now i'll show you some fruits and you try to identify okay children see what are these what is this children what is this orange it's an orange what's this it's an orange and what is it lemon it's a lemon these are fruits okay all of you like to drink lemon juice isn't it you also eat orange now you please see the pictures see them you see that and tell me which one is big and which one is small children in this which one is big and which one is small an orange is big or a lemon is big yes correct lemon is small and orange is big when you see the size of lemon and orange you can identify the object that orange is big and lemon is small isn't it okay let me show one more picture you all like to play with toys cards isn't it yes see here are two toys here are two toys is this toy a big is this toy a big toy see is it a big toy no no it is not a big one this toy is big one yes this toy is big one the toy in my left hand is big and the toy in my right hand is the toy in my right hand is small how you how you tell that one is big and other is small yes by seeing the size of these toys isn't it by seeing the size of this toy when you see the size what will tell my right hand side toy is small and in the left hand toy is big isn't it okay see i have one more object for you what are these children what are these 
these are yes flowers these are flowers one is red in color another one is white in color what is the color of this flower red and the next what is the color of this flower white there are two flowers in my hand now tell me children which one is big and which one is small try to tell me which one is big and which one is small or else yes correct red flower is big and white flower is small you can see the size isn't it see the size red flower is big and white flower is small how you identify it by seeing the size of the flower isn't it by seeing the size of the flowers you can identify big and small yes by seeing the size of the flower you can identify which one is big and which one is small i got some vegetables here okay see what is it it's a is it a potato no it's a beetroot it's a beetroot and what is this all of you like to eat this tomato yes it's a tomato now see identify which one is big and which one is small how do you identify identify on the on the base of size isn't it big and small you identify it on the base of size which size is it correct the beetroot is big in size and tomato is less big on the base of the size you can identify big and small when we compare the object on the base of the size we get big and small see simple this is small it is big big small is it the same way if you take any thing from your house you can identify which one is big for example you take a cup and a glass by which you drink water a glass and a cup which one is big children a glass or a cup which one is big yes glass is big therefore by which you drink water that glass is very big and the tea you drink tea in the cup that is small so on the basis of the size you identify big and small isn't it when any object is given to you and they ask you to identify big and small you have to see the base size you know it is based on size so you have to see the size and identify big and small you have to identify big by size of that of given object we will do some activity we will do some activity here Yes, 
you have to put the tick mark which one is p okay now children first one is see the first picture in this chart what is this not and a rat which one is p see the size of that you can see the lion is b and the rat is so small it is small so for which picture we have to put it yes we have to put here p it's a big object big one second one there are two jars there are two jars the first jar and the second jar which jar is big See there. There are two jars. Okay, we will do number A. We will write here A B. Which jar is big? A or B? See the size. We have identified big and small by seeing the size, isn't it? So see the size. Which one is big? Is B big? No, B is not big. A is big. So what we will do? We will put a tick mark to the A jar. Yes. Now see. The kites here, all allowed to fly kites, isn't it? See this, and let me know which one is big and which one is small. A, B. Okay, which one is big and which one is small? We are going to put the tick mark to the big one. So, to which I have to put tick mark? A or B? Yes, it's correct. It's B. So I have to put the tick mark to B. Next year, a boy and a girl. Here's a picture of a boy and a girl. Boy is sitting on the big ball. Girl is it? Girl is playing with the ball. So tell me, which picture is with big boy or girl? Yes, it is the picture of the boy. So we have to put a tick mark to the big ball picture here. That is boy. Okay. Two apples are here. Can you see these apples? See, can you see these apples? Yeah. Which one is big? A or B? First one or second one? Which one is big? Which apple is big, children? Yes, correct. The A apple is big. The first one is big. An apple A is big. Now this next picture. Umbrellas. There are two umbrellas. Can you see the picture of two umbrellas here? Yes. One, two. You write one and two. The umbrella in one or the umbrella in second place. Which one is big? Identify them. After identifying, we have to put a tick mark. Yes. The first picture umbrella, the number one picture umbrella is big. So we we'll put a tick mark to the umbrella. First umbrella. Now, see children. Here, and what is this picture? Correct. It's an elephant. It's an elephant. And what's the second picture? It's a picture of an ant. It's a picture of an ant. Have you seen elephants? Yes, we have seen elephants in movies or elephant riding a big one. We have tangles. And yes, you may see ants everywhere in your house. Which one is big and which one is small? Is an elephant big or ant big? See the size of them. Yes, correct. Elephant is big. So we'll put tick mark to an elephant. We'll put a tick mark to an elephant. So all these pictures, in all these pictures, we are how you identify big and small? How you can identify big and small? We can identify them on the basis of their size. We can identify them on the basis of their size. Isn't it? When we compare or when we compare them based on their size. Here we are comparing lion and the rat. Uh, and two apples, big apples, small apples. When we compare them, we get big and small. So to understand the concept of big and small, we have to compare the objects on the basis of their 
size. We have to compare the object on the basis of that size. So we get big and small to understand. It. So the concept big and small. Is it clear to them? Big and small? The concept of big and small? Okay. Let us go one by one. What is big and small? Small, big. Big, small. To understand this big and small concept. How do you understand this big and small concept? When we compare two objects, when we compare two objects on the base of their size, we come to know whether an object is big or small on the size. Yes. Okay. Now let's turn to the Let's talk about another, another concept that is long, L O N G, long and short. Long and short. We'll move on to long and short. Children, you see many things around you. Many things around you and your house, they may be long, they may be short. Isn't it? What's long? Long. This is short. This is long. What is this? See, this is long. And this is short. Understood? What is this? See. Long. Short. Long. Short. To understand long and short concept. What we have to do? I'll show you some pictures. Uh, some Let us first go through some examples, then we'll understand the concept long and short. I'll show some. See, long and short. To understand this concept long and short, I'll show you some examples. First of all, what is this? L O N G, long. L O N G, long. S H O R T, short. S H O R T, short. Long and short. Simple. This is long, this is short. This is simple. One. Long and short. Now I'll show you some more examples. Some examples. Then we'll understand the concept. Okay? What is this children? What is it? What is it? Pencil. And this is also pencil. These are two pencils. These are two pencils. One pencil is black in color. Another one is orange in color. Okay. Now see. I hold the pencil and I hold another pencil. Now you can see which one is long and which one is short when I join them. See the size. See and then. You can insert it. Yes. The pencil Black color it is long and the pencil is short. Orange color is short. This is black pencil is long and this orange pencil is short. Yes. See. Just see. It comes half to the way. So this pencil is the black pencil is big. Sorry, the black pencil is long. And the orange pencil is short. The orange one is short and the black one is long. Long, short. Long, short. Understood? The black pencil is long and the orange pencil is short. I'll show you one more example. What is this? Scale. Isn't it? You use scale to draw lines. Yes, it is. For so many things you use this. See, there are two scales. There are two scales. See, I'll keep it one on another. Okay. Now you see them. What is the difference here? 
What is the difference here? Can you tell me the difference? Yes. This one is long. This scale is long. This scale is long. And this another scale is short. This scale is short. What is this? Short one. This is long one. Short, long. Short, long. Isn't it? Okay. I'll show you one more example. Give you one more example. What is this shuttle? Painting brush. Yes, correct. These are painting brushes. These two are painting brushes. See, one color is green. The color of this brush is green. And the color of this brush is yellow. Okay, I will join them. See now. And identify. Which one is long and which one is short? See, and identify. Which one is long? Yes, correct. The painting brush which is green in color which is green in color is long and the painting brush which is yellow in color is short. Is it? You can hold them properly and see the difference between them. The green painting brush is long, yellow in G long. The green painting brush is long and yellow painting brush is short. S-H-O-R-T short. What are these? Long and short. This one is long and this one is short. The green painting brush is long and the yellow painting brush is small or short. So it's short. I'll show you one more example. See. Oh, what are these? Crayons. Colors. Yes. These are colors. Crayons. Okay. This is color box. This is also color box. Now, See, when I join them, okay, I'll keep it up. And then, now you tell me, which, which of the color box is long and which one is short? Which one is long and which one is short? Yes, children, the down, the color box which is down is long and the color box which is up is short. Yes, this one is short and this one is long. Yes, the color box, this color box is long and this color box is short. When you see the length, when you see the length, you can identify the difference between long and short. Isn't it? See. Okay, one more. What are these? Start now. This one is an iron two. One silver color, one somewhat pink. Which one is pink here? Wait. So, you will see the difference. So you can see the difference. See the length of them. The silver color starter is big. And pink color starter is short. The silver color shop is long. And this the pink color is short. Understood this concept? Yes. Now what is that? On what basis we are done is? On the size of the length. When some objects are compared on the basis of the length. On the basis of the length, we get long and short. We get long and short one. Long, short. When, com when we compare the length of this of the given objects, we get long and short. When we compare the length, length of objects. Get long and short. We get long and short. Yes. 
when we compare the length of the objects, we get long and short. Yes, now we are comparing the length here of the scale, of the metal scale. See, the length of the first metal scale is big or long and the length of the second metal scale is short. When we compare them with the length of the object, when we compare with the length of the object, so we are compared here, isn't it? See, the length of the green brush is long and the length of the green yellow brush is short. When we compare the length, when we compare the length of the given objects, we come to go long and short. In the same manner, when we compare the length of these square box, the, these two square boxes, we came to go long and short. Now, which cram box is long and which one is short? Yes, see the length. The length, the length of the cram box. The length of the cram box, which one is long? The down one is long and the up one is short. So, to know the concept long and short, what we have to do? We have to compare the objects on the base of the length on the base of their length. That means this is long and this is short. Big means big, small, big. Big we have big and small by size and long and short by length. We have to compare long and short by the length of the given objects. Isn't it? When we compare the length of the given objects, we come to know is it is the given object long or short. Okay, we will do an activity now. We will do one activity. I will show some pictures. You have to identify. I will show some pictures. You have to identify whether it is a long object or a short object. Isn't it? Okay, I will show you some pictures. Or a chart. Of the hair. So, for which one we have to mark tick? 
which one is short which one is short so the have b girl is short so we put a tick mark on the b next one next one what is this picture see two girls are playing with a ribbon with a ribbon you can see this they are tied into the stick so you can see the length of the two ribbons the first girl's ribbon is long and the second girl's ribbon is short so we we'll put a tick mark to the short next one two carrots are there two carrots are here which one is long and which one is short yeah the carrot number two is long and the carrot number one is short so we we'll put a tick mark to the short carrot here plant are there one is big and one is short one is full plant the pan that is more in length and one pan is small in length that is short in length so which one will put a short pan there two keys are there can you see yes one key is long and another one is short see the length you can identify easily in the picture the length of the keys yes the second key is short so we put a tick mark for the second key here same just i showed you the scales here two scales one is long and another one is short so we have to put a tick mark to the short one so children when you see the pictures spoon hair of the girl uh, ribbon carriage pant key scale what do you understand what do you understand when we compare the length of this given object we can get the concept long and short we can get the concept long and short okay i'll remove this i'll remove this see to we are learn first one big and small we have learned a concept big and small and second concept long and short long and short b i g g s m a w l small l o n g long s h o r t short long and short big and small so you can identify big and small based on based on yes size it is based on size so we can identify long and short based on the length very good based on length of the given object yes today we have completed this two concepts big and small okay when how can we identify big and small based on the size yes big small big big small lines and how can we identify long and short based on the length length this is long this is short on the based on the length we can identify long and short when we compare two objects based on the length we can get long and short objects when we compare two objects on the base of the size on the size then we get we get small objects is it it should be and one more thing you have to do children you have to take two notebooks already i have told you have to take two notebooks square line notebooks for mathematics hope you understood the big and small and long and short concept thank you children